What up everybody, welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be a fun one. As you saw from the title, The Rock actually did feature me on his Instagram because I was taking some shots of his tequila I showed you in the last vlog. In the theme of that and the excitement of that, we're doing a vodka taste test today. Can I tell the difference between the cheap vodkas and the expensive vodkas? You're gonna see that in a little bit. And as always, we put the timestamps down in the uh, video description below if you guys wanna fast forward to certain segments of the vlog. So with that said, let's get it started. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you're new, click the subscribe button. It goes a long way. Also, click the like button, please, so the videos get out to more people. Appreciate you. Hey, Kai, you saw a spider? Yeah. Mommy saw it. Mommy saw it? You want Daddy, want Daddy to save it? Yeah. Okay. Can Daddy, you, you save it? I'll save it. You hold this camera. And I'll, okay. I'll show everybody how we save spiders. Point it towards Daddy. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice little spider. We're here to save you. Okay, we're almost there. Slide the paper in. Can we get him? You got him, Ty. Oh, you got him? There's the spider. Now we take him outside. Come with me, Kyla. Yeah. Okay, now we save the spider. Oh. We bring the spider over here. Okay, yeah. Come closer. Oh. Come closer. Okay. Say goodbye to the spider. Goodbye, spider. There we go. We save him. And now we have good luck, Kyla. When you're good to other people and other creatures, they're good to you. Lesson of the day. Dad life. 2020. How long have I been saving spiders? I've, I feel a connection with spiders. I'm not afraid of spiders. I be good to spiders, they be good to me. They leave, this, they leave me and my family alone. Well, why do they keep coming in our house every day then? Because they want to hang out with a dope dad like me. Because they're having babies. So you think I should just terminate them all? I don't know. I have mixed feelings about the yeah. whole thing. Like, I like how nice you are to them, but... Then again, it also causes more spiders. If you missed last vlog, Jessica and I shot some tequila from The Rock, his Terramana brand, and this happened. The Rock reposted to his Instagram 200 million people. <laughs> so now the question is, can I actually distinguish I'm out of focus here. Focus. Hello, camera. So now the question that Jessica wanted to know is, can I actually distinguish between a high quality liquor and kind of a lower end liquor? So we have two different types of vodka here. I don't know which is which. I guess one is a higher end brand, one is a lower end brand. I'm gonna taste to see. So before I do this, comment down below. Do you think I'm gonna be able to tell which one is the higher and which one is the lower? The question is, do you even know which brands they are? Oh, I won't be able to guess which brands they are, but I, I don't think you I will. You don't know your vodka brands. So am I supposed to shoot this entire thing? No, or? no, just taste it. Okay. Okay, then take a deep breath and cleanse your palate. Maybe I need a sip of Cody's water. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I think I should have. I, I should have cleansed. I think this one is probably going to be the higher end one. Nope. <laughs> really? Honestly, it was a guess. But the thing is, I don't take shots of pure vodka though. Yeah. That's the thing with tequila, you do take pure shots. But do you actually think that would taste better? I thought they tasted pretty much exactly the same. Wow. What I wanted to do was I wanted you to add these to like orange juice, and then I could actually taste and see if there's a difference. Well, you can try that now. Okay, let's try that now. So I'm just going to shut my eyes. How much, like, what's your ratio? No, like, not very much juice. 50% of the amount of vodka? Yeah. Can I open my eyes? Nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> <It's still up. laughs> okay, go ahead. All right. Test number one. Okay. 
I definitely like this one better. Mm, that's the high. Ah! I, get, I don't know if I should be clapping at that. That just means more money out of our pocket. When it comes to tequila, and you're shooting it, I definitely taste the difference between the different brands. I guess if you're taking sips of pure vodka, I can't tell, but if you mix it in orange juice, I can't. You know what brand that is? I have no idea. That one's Belvedere. But you, Grey Goose is my go-to vodka Yeah, brand. that other one is the bottom shelf $5 vodka. Really? $5. For $5. There's a $30 price difference here. For $5, I'd drink that all day. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on if you're cheap or not. But to me. <laughs> Whatever floats you both. Yeah. <laughs> and if I'm mixing this with just water and, and uh, lemon or lime, which I normally do, I would go with the higher end one. But if you're mixing it with OJ yeah. or something to mask the taste, you can go lower. And I don't know what would be better for a hangover, uh, but we don't drink to get hungover though, right, Boo? Yeah, we don't drink that much anymore. <laughs> if you've been a long time Live Lean TV follower, so if, you, if you're new, that's my other YouTube channel. Back in 2013, I first started to try the front lever. So that's an exercise where you get your body like this uh, using a pull-up bar. It's a very advanced exercise, and I did teach myself how to do it back in 2013, but I haven't really practiced it that much in the last seven years. So here's a video clip to see if I can still do it at the age of 40. <laughs> Welcome to our grocery food haul. I didn't actually do this, my beautiful wife Jessica did. Just wanted to show you what we got. All right, we'll start with the protein section here. We got some beef that we put in a slow cooker, chicken, some bacon, and then we just got some um, quick protein sources, meats. We got some ham, honey, some grass-fed ground beef. Got our favorite whole eggs. We got some cheese over there. And then we'll move on to the fruits. We got some pineapple. We got bunches of bananas because you love bananas, right? Yeah. Apples, and then we'll move on to, we got tomatoes there as well. Grapefruits. Move on, oh, grapefruits. Then we'll move on to the veg. We got some green beans, arugula, more arugula, some onions, pickles. Yeah. And then we got these to snack on. We just recently got these, these are grain-free uh, tortilla chips made of cassava flour, it was so good. Chex Mex. The kids are obsessed with that. For the kids. <laughs> then this, I guess this is creamer oh for Jess's coffee. Almond milk that I would drink. Got some grass-fed butter. Then we got two different types of OJ here. This is the one that I'll just have occasionally, which is 50% less sugar and it's sweetened with um, stevia. And then this is just the full typical orange juice that Jessica I like prefers. Regular kind. So that is the Guthrow food hall. Thank you for picking it up, Lou. You're welcome. So in the comments below, guess how much you think all of this food costs. Whoever has the closest answer, maybe I'll hook you up with one of our Live Lean cookbooks. All right, it's time to unbox another sneaker from my sneaker collection. Check out this one. This one is a beauty, Jordan 1s. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this vlog. If you did, so much appreciation, so much love for you. I am committing to getting more vlogs out and putting more effort into this channel because I just love having these videos of documenting our life. So thank you for joining us on this journey and we'll see you at the next vlog. Bye.